let's see if we can have a little fun and get our grandson to apparate just like in Harry Potter. I'll try to make this process as quick as possible and we'll get this going. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the clip that I'm going to use. I'd already brought it into my media pool and I'll put it down here in the timeline. Now this is a, I took a multiple clips doing this. I just let the camera run. Now I just took this video with my camera phone which is a Moto Droid and nothing fancy sitting on a little one of those little three prong tripods uh, and just shot it from there uh, here again if you have better film equipment this is going to turn out much better and for safety purposes if you notice Angela is sitting there holding it the and then she'll step out of the picture just quick enough for him to do his jump and then she rushes back over to him now he's only two years old so we wanted to make sure we did this safely but so first of all, uh, let me go ahead and get rid of the sound real quick, get it out of the way. Don't need it. Uh, and it'll just kind of get in the way a little bit. So let me go ahead and just slide it way out of the way here. And now let me go back in. I know there's a quicker way to do this, so I just forgot how to do it. So you can see that she's right there. He, he'll look at me at the camera real quick. And then he'll jump. And then she'll run over and get him real quick and he was kind of giggling here so I wanted to make sure I captured that and you'll notice that I'll use this later in the video. So now to start with I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and we're going to find right where he jumps off the edge of the couch and she's out of the shot. Now right about here he'll look up at me right there so I'm going to cut the video right here at this point using the slicing tool I'll come slide down here and I'll just cut it and then I'll go back up to my selection tool and then I'll highlight it by just clicking on it and then using my right mouse button and clicking I'm going to say ripple delete and what ripple delete is going to do is it moved it took out the section and moved it all the way back to the beginning so now I have it started up right where I want it where he's looking at me and getting ready to jump I'll put it in motion again and hit the play button and then I'm going to stop it I'm going to use the arrows on my keyboard my left arrow and just back it up I want it right where he not when he's going down right where he's just level. So I'm going to start, I'm going to cut it right there. And then I'll go back up to my slicing tool. Go in here and slice it right there. Go back to my selection. Move this out of the way for right now. If you notice, right here his feet are a little high. If I come over and click on the end of this one, that's the one I want right there. So with my timeline marker right on the edge of where I cut it, I'm going down to my color tab now. Select it. And what I want to do is I want to grab this steel. So just having my mouse in, the, in here somewhere and then right clicking on my mouse I'm going to come here and say grab steel. And what it does is it just grabs the steel of what I was looking at right there. And then I'm going to come back up here with my mouse over it, right click again and go down to export. So I'm going to export this off into um, a file. I'm just going to call this opening jump. And I'm going to change this to a JPEG. Easier to work with. I'll export that out. Come back over down to my media pool. Bring up my file explorer, in, uh, my explorer here, and here's my opening jump steel. Bring it down and put it into my media pool. Go back to my edit, edit, and then I'll bring it down and I'll put it up in the top here, right at the edge of that one. And this is where he's jumping now. Now, what we want to do is this is going to be very quick. So what I want to do is shorten this down to where it's only about 10 frames. So I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit right here so I can get a better view of it. And then I'm just going to shrink this all the way down until it's only 10 frames. And you can uh, make this shorter or longer. It depends on how you like it. So right there I've got it at 10 frames with that selected. Now I'm going to create a new compound clip so I can do something with an infusion. And I'm just going to call this opening compound so I know what it is if I can type opening and see say create now with that selected I can come back and put my timeline right where it starts and now I'm gonna to go to fusion and once I have fusion selected and up and running for me I'm running on battery so it may be running just a little slow here I unplugged it and what I'm going to do now with median selected, I'm going to bring up something called dent. And what I'm going to do is hold the control D, control key down and the space bar, and it'll bring up my menu and I'm going to type in dent. 
and this is what I want. Now there's probably other ways to do this. I just found that this was uh, a pretty neat way to do it. So I'm going to add that, put it right here. And if you notice, it always already kind of put the swirly in there. I'm going to go up to my menu bar here and select this one. So I just go to single screen. And it's already set this, but if you notice, it's at 1. The strength is at 1. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to set this to 0. And now it's down to normal. And what I want to do is bring the center of this up to where he's get jumping. And I'm going to grab the edge of the green circle and drag it down so it's just barely incorporates him right there. Now this is where uh, this is normal. So what I'm going to do is set a time marker by clicking this little dot right on the end. and Set a keyframe. And you'll notice it turned red. And now go all the way to the end. And then I'm going to slide this down just to where it goes out to almost nothing which was right let's see see right there and if you notice it says negative 1.02 so just kind of keep that in mind so now when I play this you'll see he apparates he goes away alright we'll go back to our edit play this and there he is, he evaporates. Okay, what we need to do now is we need to capture a shot of where the, um, the couch is empty, basically. Because there's got to be just a split second from where he jumps on this side over this side where the couch needs to be empty. Now, without going into Photoshop and, and doing all this, I'm going to just grab a spot where I know uh, he's pretty much out of the shot. Let me see if I can find it now. We had him jump right here, I believe it is. Yeah, this is where the final shot's going to come in, uh, where he's landing on to the other end of the couch. And Angela's getting out of the way real quick, <laughs> getting out of the jump so sign. So, I'm going to use my left key because I think this is where it's at. Yeah. And I couldn't get him all the way out of the picture, but that's about as far as I could get him right there. So, his hand sticking in here, and if I could normally go into Photoshop and I would just kind of wipe that out. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to kind of give you the idea of what I'm doing. So once again, I'm going to the color tab, going to right click and say grab steel. And then I'm going to export this again. Change this to JPEG. Go up to my folder here where the other one was at. And I'm going to say closing jump. and I'm going to export that out. Go back over to my media, bring in my closing jump, pull it on down into my media pool, go back to my edit, and zoom back out to where I need to be. Slide this timeline over, go back in. Like I said, I know there's easier ways to do this. I'm just doing it the quick and dirty way. So, at this point, I'm gonna go, go ahead and bring in my closing jump. On my blank couch, I'm sorry. This is my empty couch. And move it down so it's just below underneath where this was tied into. And I'll zoom in a little bit more. And I'm going to shorten this way down. Get a little bit closer. So there's just like a split second right there. Maybe just a little bit more. No, it's too much. There we go. We were right there. <clears throat> I could take off my uh, snapping tool and get it even closer but for right now I think that'll be fine for right now and at this point now what I want to do is zoom back out and get where he's jumping over onto the other end of the couch so let me find where that's at okay now I've got find right where he's getting ready to jump over to the other side she's out of the shot and I want to grab it right I know he's gonna smile at me right here because I'm standing right at the edge of the couch just in case he comes off the edge I'm right there and he smiles right there and uh, so I know he's getting ready to jump so I'm just using my right arrow key to kind of go frame by frame and I'm gonna grab him right when he jumps gets both feet off the couch right there that's too I could stop it right there that would probably be alright yeah I'll stop it right there use my cutting tool come down here and cut this and I'm going to go ahead and delete the front part because I don't need that anymore 
cut that out back back out again move this over where I can need it zoom back in and the reason this is red right here because it's looking for the uh, soundtrack I didn't delete the soundtrack I just moved it out of the way now here again once again what I need to do is I need to grab a still of that picture right there so I'm going to my color tab do my grab steel and do export go up to my folder change this to JPEG and I'm just going to say final that'll do export go back to media bring my explorer where is final there it is right there pull it into my media pool oops might help if I have my media pool selected Final, pull it in, go back to media. I'll slide this down out of the way here. Bring in my final jump. And here again, I'm going to shorten this down to 10 frames just like I did the other one. Almost there. That's too much. Let me zoom in here so I can see a little bit better. Now, here again, you can change how many frames you want this to, uh, how fast and how slow you want it to go. Go ahead and hit this and say make a new compound clip. I'm going to say compound and oops, that special character in there. I always like to use underbar underscores. Kind of separates the words a little bit better for me. Say create. Now what I'm going to do is put this right at the end of where that empty couch is at. Right there. I can actually move this down so it's on the same timeline. And I'll go ahead and move this over here as well. Now that with this created my new compound clip, I'm going to go to Fusion, bring it up. And now he's on the other side of the count. So here again, once again, highlight this so that when I do select the item that I want, it's going to automatically put it in here for me. So I'll say Add, and if you notice, automatically put it in there for me. It's already done this for me. So I'm going to set this at minus 1.02 which matched the other one and I'm going to scale this down move this over so it incorporates him and just enough so it covers his head and his toes that should uh, move this over just a little bit that should be a do it about right there and here again now we're going to go the opposite we're going to take this and go down to zero which will bring it into focus so I'm going to select my keyframe do that move my timeline all the way to the end and set this to zero and he's done now when I play this he comes into focus all right we go back to our edit page move this back let's see how it looks he's gone he's back in he's off the site and then she comes running she comes running in to make sure he's okay <laughs> and I was standing at the other end of the couch just to make sure and there you have it so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the film cut it right there where just before she comes into the shot I'll cut that right there go ahead and grab my and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this out don't need that anymore there we go so there's our film. I'll play it from start to finish real quick. And there it is. Now if you have better camera than I do, uh, equipment, you're going to come out with a bunch of quality. This was shot with just regular lighting and I, like I said, on my cell phone. Now there were a few spots in there on the audio where I caught him giggling. So let me see if I can grab those and pull those in real quick. Let me see if I can find them. Jump on the couch. Jump! Okay, that should be good. I right, grab him again. Okay. And about now what I did, I went in there and listened to the audio, and I was actually able to cut out a couple of paces where he kind of giggled, and right at the end he said, fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that, I cut it out and put it down here in the, in the um, audio track. And what I'm going to do now is just put it at the end of the video. So I'm going to slide it over here and put it on the end now. So now when he gets through jumping and uh, 
you'll hear him kind of giggle a little bit and then he'll say that's fun so here we go we'll see how this goes and there you have it nice and easy and simple I'm sure there's other ways to do this I just found this very quick and easy uh, I had to do a little bit of search to find out that dent uh, I tried something called Vortex and tried to get it to twist a little bit, uh, but it was a little bit more complicated than what I was wanting to try and do in this situation. So I found the dent seemed to work pretty good. Uh, here again, if you find something else that uh, does it, I would love to see them. Please put them in the comments below. And I do greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And if you did find it informative or you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.